Number 60, integrated concepts. Letter A, calculate the force the woman in figure 7.45 exerts to do a push-up at constant speed, taking all data to be known to three digits. All right, so um, here's our picture, and there is a center of mass here. She has a certain weight, right, that tell us her mass is uh, 50 kilograms, and she's going to be pushing herself up off the floor directly opposing the weight. Now, let's just draw a free body diagram of what's going on. Let me call this letter A, should be fairly straightforward. She has a weight, right? And that weight is pointing directly down. Great, W. Now, it says that uh, she's doing a push-up at constant speed. So what's the acceleration of this system? It's zero. And if it's zero, remember that the sum of the forces, if they equal zero, that must mean that they're all balanced. So what I mean by that is the force that she is applying then here, right, we'll call it FA, that means that FA minus then, right, W because it's pointing down, has to equal zero, and therefore FA is equal to W. So, bait, all right, one more time, there's the square. So uh, what I'm basically trying to show here is that the force that she's applying will literally be exactly identical to her weight. Okay, so that's how we go about and calculate this. So the force applied is equal to mg. So her mass was 50 kilograms, so I guess 0 0.0 because I said it's known to three digits. And then gravity is 9.80. So here we have uh, 50 times 9.8, and we get 490, right? 490 newtons. Okay, so that takes care of letter A. Let's take a look now at letter B. So how much work does she do if her center of mass rises 0.24 meters? Okay, so now we're relating force and a distance, right, to work. So which formula are we thinking about, guys? This one over here on the right, correct? So for letter B, I'm thinking about the work that's being performed will be equal to the force applied, right, multiplied by the distance the object is moving times the cosine of the angle between these two vectors. So she is applying a force in this direction as we just spoke about before. And then if she pushes herself up, what's the displacement look like? Like which way is she going? She's going up. So notice these are both pointing then in the same direction. So therefore the angle between them is going to be zero. Cosine of zero is one, so this whole term basically just drops out. Okay? So then the work will be equal to the force she applied, which we just found was gonna be 490, multiplied by that distance of 0.240. So the work here is going to be 490 times 0.24, and we get 117.6, but I got a round to three sig figs, so 118. Okay, 118 joules. Again with the triangle. All right, there we go. Letter C. So letter C now is saying, what is her useful power output if she does 25 push-ups in one minute? And then it says, should work done uh, lowering her body be included? So uh, I believe so, right? If you think about this, um, let's say she's lowering her body, okay? I know she's going with gravity, but let's assume that there is no acceleration, right? I mean, there's going to be some acceleration at some point, right? You can't just go from stationary to moving and have no acceleration. But let's say for the majority of the descent, um, she is not accelerating, she's traveling at a constant velocity. If she's traveling at a constant velocity, what that means again are that the forces are balanced. So her weight has to be directly um, counterbalanced by a force that she is applying. So in actuality, yeah, right? She is applying the same amount of force, whether she's pushing herself up at a constant velocity or lowering herself down at a constant velocity. Sounds kind of weird, right? But that's how it is. So uh, now, right, we're trying to find the useful power output. Okay, so we're thinking about power formulas. So maybe I'll highlight this one over here. Um, so power, right, is going to equal the work done divided by the time it takes. So what time is she doing these push-ups in? It says one minute. But remember, we need time in seconds here, so that's simply just 60. Easy peasy. Now what's the work done? Well, every time she goes, so she's doing 25 push-ups. Right Now remember though, 25 push-ups involve down and up. So every 25 push-ups, there's really 50 parts that she's doing work in, right? 
both the down, the descent, and then the ascent. Okay, so power here will then be equal to the work. So again, I'm going to take the work done in one of those phases, or 118 joules, and then multiply that by 25 push-ups, and then realize that each push-up involves two parts. And then divide that now by the time, and they told us it was one minute, but I want it in seconds, so i got to take that and multiply it by 60. And here is the power, right? 118 times 25 times 2 divided by 60, and it comes out to be about 94.4. So 94.4, and that's in terms of watts. Okay? And that is her power output. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. I appreciate your viewership very much. And I look forward to helping you with the next question. Have a great day.